folks, JD here, and today we're looking at this. This is the unboxing of the Isheen EV800. We first saw this a few weeks ago in the What's in the Mailbag video. Now, I thought, after we had a little look at that, I thought it would be a good idea to go through this and have a little look and see exactly everything that it comes with. Right, so, I have used it. This isn't how it looks when you first open the box. Uh, so let me just get everything out and then we'll go through all the bits it comes with and everything else. I think that's everything. Yep, that is everything. Okay, so let's move the box to one side as we don't need to see that now. I must say though, when I did open it originally, it, it did look quite professional in there. It's just that I've been able to, I've been using it, so therefore now it doesn't look as, as, as nice inside the box. So, right then, so this is everything that we get. So, goggles, manual, a couple of accessories which we'll go through in a bit, a little bag as well to take with you, as well as a lens cloth as well. So I tell you what, as this table is pretty filthy, I'm going to keep that to one side safe. So let's have a little look at these goggles. So these are standard uh, virtual reality goggles, FPV goggles. They have a 5 inch 800 by 480 uh, resolu resolution display built in. They have a lot of function buttons across the top of it. It has a battery built in that gives you three and a half hours uh, of use. The battery itself is a 3.7 volt 2000 milliamp hour battery. Um, now, first of all, there were a few things that drove me to buy the, this pair. Now, a few months ago, I bought an FPV quadcopter. It came with a pair of Isheen goggles, and I was really quite blown away. I think the whole package cost me about 40 quid, and honestly, I didn't expect them to be as good as what they were. So I shelled out a couple of extra quid, and I bought these, and these have blown me away. I used these the other week when flying the QX65, and I thought it was really, really good. Now, if I just take this off, oh, now this is one of the reasons I bought it was because you can take this off here and if you've got an attachment uh, if you've got a tripod rather then what you can do and this is what I did when I was filming is you can just screw in the tripod at the bottom and then you can have your display to stand up like this so that then you can film either directly from there uh, or if you want to if you have a full height tripod you can actually look through here instead of having them on your goggles i know a lot of people prefer that i quite like to do that just because i wear glasses and wearing goggles with glasses is sometimes a bit of a nightmare so uh yeah that was one of the reasons that i wanted to buy it was because of this particular action i thought this was very very good the five inch screen inside is true color let me turn it on i have got a bit of charge in here it is true colour, it's very, very good, uh, and it gives you a very wide angle as well, so you can see things. And I actually find that the, the, the transmission is flawless. I haven't had a lot of uh, a lot of video breakup, I haven't had a lot of... Uh, I think I've had one issue where, when I was looking through this, the video distorted ever so slightly, and that was, I noticed, because I took the quadcopter out way too far, and then I had to turn it around and bring it back. Now, that being said, these are great entry-level FPE goggles because eventually I'm going to be buying myself a pair of fat sharks but for now I just want to get into it and I just want to I just want to see how cheaply I can get it done and how effectively I can get it done because if it's something I can't do cheaply then obviously I'm going to turn around to you and say folks if you want to get into it then you pay a bit more but for the minute I'm very happy with these particular goggles now if we put the screen and everything to one side, when we have a little look at this, it fits in your face really quite nicely. You have two main pads here that push up against your nose and your cheeks, and you have another pad across the top here which just rests across your forehead. That's quite nice. That feels quite uh, quite comfy. I do have one uh, particular flaw with it, though. I can see down either side here. Uh, now, what I did have to do is when I first got him, I had to really... Uh, onto this belt. It has got three different ways you can tighten it. Two on the uh, on the outward straps and one going across the head. I had to spend a bit of time tightening it because I found I could see directly down and that was actually putting me off from my flying. Once I had actually gone through and I'd spent a bit of time in uh, fixing everything up, it was okay, but there is still a little bit that I can see either side there. Now there is a plastic screen on here as well, a little magnifying uh, screen. You would have to keep this nice and clean as well, so when you do take this apart make sure you don't put that down in any mud because this is a screen and you are going to have to keep that nice and clean in order to see things properly now to go back on they do fit in they do fit together quite easily 
uh, he says and it should just go on and then click upwards. It's a bit of a, oh there it was, a bit stiff, but it goes in. A couple of ports, you've got a 3.5mm headphone jack here. You've got your charging port around the other side as well. Now this particular uh, headset does not allow SD card recording, so you're not gonna be able to record what you see. This is why it gets a little bit tricky whenever I go to do any FPV video, so I have to have this on a tripod and record this particular screen by using uh, a camera usually uh, and now across the top we have a lot of different buttons you have your search function now this is an auto search uh, you can just click it and it will just jump through all the different frequencies there are 40 channels that this automatically scans uh, next you have your antenna uh, you know, antenna mount then you have your battery your on and off uh, button you have your channel you have your band menu band again and your channel again as well so you have channel up and channel down on these buttons here so all in all it makes quite a nice entry level fpv kit uh it's something i've used about three times now when yeah about three times now and uh every single time i've used them i've i've thought they felt really nice they don't feel too heavy and all in all i'm extremely happy with with these little guys but what else do you get with it so obviously we had a look you get a little lens cloth there keep that nice and clean you get a little bag now this little bag's a drawstring bag but it's quite sizable you know, it's not bad at all and you get quite a bit of uh, a bit of space inside there when I'm not using this and when I obviously because I've just kept the box so I can do this video all of this kit fits inside here and this fits in my bag quite nicely and then I know nothing's going to be hitting it or anything when it's in my bag with the quadcopters and transmitters and everything else I carry your little manual goes through quite a lot of different things to basic use all the different channels and frequencies across here as well as well as any troubleshooting techniques that you have how to search what the battery uh, a little bit more information about the battery uh, and things like that it's quite actually it's a lot with Eshin's uh, manuals they do they're actually pretty good uh, so I'd give that a little look if you if you do decide to get these goggles and then we get the accessories so this is what we get get quite a good little amount so you get your quite a few little cables you also get I think there we go this is an American plug uh, obviously for, for myself that's not going to work but I do have an adapter in which I can get that to work that's no problem uh, so you get a little adapter there you get a little transmitter mushroom as well so you can just screw that on the top of your uh, on the top of your um, your goggles there looks quite nice gives you very very good range uh, as well as you get a little um, little AV cable as well as a charge cable as well should you want to charge that directly from uh, another quadcopter charger and then just use the little uh, the little circular charging port there uh, plug there just to, just to plug directly into the port all in all it is quite good I think uh, when I did time this originally on charge I think it did take about two hours to charge um, so that again it's not too bad if you want to charge it up if you're flying sort of like mid morning charge it up in the morning it'll be fully charged by the time you go um, so there we go so that, that's not too bad you get quite a lot of good stuff for it for the price honestly I would say these are definitely worth it uh, I've been using them now obviously I didn't want to just use them once and then let you know I wanted to use them a few times I've used them three times and I'm very very impressed uh, but obviously don't expect them to be any fat sharks they're not fat sharks but they are very very good indeed there we are folks I hope you've enjoyed thank you ever so much for watching and listening I've been JD you've been fantastic as always if you haven't already please like and subscribe hello and welcome to all the new subscribers I hope you're enjoying the channel so until next time my friends Happy flying.